How's it going everybody? In this video we're going to actually start off on one of our first upgrades. We're going to upgrade 6.0 to 6.5. And the process is actually pretty straightforward, but we need to go through the steps in order to make it all happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, go through the individual steps that need to happen. And you have to be pretty specific with the upgrade process, um, but once we do, it should be we should be okay. So I'm gonna go click over here, and I'm going to click into the settings tab, and let me go ahead and get out of the way, because you don't need to see me talking in order to do this. Um, we're gonna come over here to the IDE setup here, and what we're going to do is we're going to choose 6.5 right here. We're gonna do that. We're gonna click OK, and then we're going to right click and I'm going to power off. Normally I would do this logging into it, do the graceful shutdown and then the power back on, but eh, whatever. So we're powered off. We're going to, but I want to give it a couple seconds because if you do it right away, the box hasn't had a chance to do its catch up things. Because as soon as I power it on and it starts, I want to click inside of here and have F2 ready to go. So as soon as I see the pop-up for F2, oh, I, I missed it. So let me go ahead and go back. So I'm going to hit power off. It happens that fast. So let me go ahead and power on. Click in here. And I'm going to start pressing F2 like that. That should be enough to trigger it. Okay, there we go. So now that we've got to the boot manager, you have to press F2 really, really quick in order for it to trigger. So we're gonna come down here to the VMware Virtual IDE CD-ROM drive, and we're gonna hit the enter key. And that will, should trigger us to go through the boot up process to 6.5, if you do it correctly. So we're gonna do that. Now, fortunately for us, with the way that this is working, if we were to log into 6.5 or 6.5-6-1 6 here, go here 6-1, and let's log in with root and then password. Um, actually, we won't be able to. Never mind. Cancel. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, we should, once this launcher is done, we'll be able to, uh, well at this point here, it, it doesn't make much of a difference. What I'm rambling about is, there might have been virtual machines running on this host, and I just randomly just shut it off. So that means the VMs went down as well. So, um, there will be some things we test out in vCenter with things called high availability or HA, where you'll be able to evacuate running VMs from one host to another during a power outage, and we're gonna test that out. but. Um, if I did everything correctly, we should be able to get a pop-up here momentarily with um, how we want to proceed. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until we get to that point, and then I'll bring you guys back in. And you'll notice that 6.5 is loaded here, which means that we will be getting a prompt for the upgrade. All right, so we are getting the prompt for the ESXi 6.5 installation, which means things are working the way that they need to. I'm going to go ahead and hit the enter key. I'm going to press F11 to do the update. So accept the and continue. Now it's going to scan for the hard drive. So it should find a 100 gig hard drive and it's also going to find a, um, I know it's 6.0, I never did add, or did I add? Pretty sure I added the, the, um, the iSCSI connection. But we're just going to install it on the um, 100 gig hard drive. We're going to hit the enter key and then it's gonna scan for the selected devices for additional information. And then what we should get is we should go in or we should be prompted to determine what we wanna do. And this is exactly what I wanted to see. So we have a couple of different options. The first one here is the one we want. It's upgrade ESXi and, prever and preserve the VMFS data store. Then we have install ESXi, don't upgrade, which would be basically like an overwrite and then we have this one here where it's overwrite the VMFS data store. We wanna do an in-place upgrade, meaning we're going to upgrade from 6.0 to 6.5. It's going to be 
replacing the system files for 6.0 with 6.5. I'm going to go ahead and hit the enter key, and then we're going to be off to the races. And next thing we'll do is we'll accept the license agreement, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the install process, and then we'll be off to the races. So we're going to press F11 to accept and do the upgrade, and then we're going to be in the hurry up and wait mode. And that'll be basically where we go. So I'll do the same thing for 6.0 when this is done, and then that will get us to 6.5. And then I'll take a 6.5 host that was originally deployed at 6.5, and we'll upgrade that to 6.7 in a following video. So I'm going to pause the video until this is done, and then I'll bring you guys back in. All right, it says the upgrade was complete, so we have upgraded to 6.5.0 successfully. We're going to come in here and hit the enter key, and we're going to reboot, and we'll boot into 6.5. So, yay! So the next thing we're gonna do is wait for this guy to reboot, and then we'll log in with the web client to validate that it's working, and then we're going to move on to the next update, which is gonna be 6.5 to 6.7, and go through that process. So for right now, I'm gonna pause until this uh, the install process, or I should say the boot up process is complete. All right, it looks like our update was successful. So we're on 6.5 now. I'm gonna come back over here to this guy and I'm going to, we can log in like so. We should be able to just log in like that. And you can log in in this way or you can log in this way. Well, let me wait till this pops up and says loading from, loading main from and things like that. It should be there momentarily because I've given it a few minutes loading inventory, exactly. So we're gonna come over to here and I'm going to, whoop, hold on a second. Uh, and we should get a, a pop-up that we're in good shape. And we have a host there. Now we're on, um, let's see, where are we? 6.5, right here. So we're in really good shape on the operational side of it. If I go to Firefox and I come in here and I do an HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash ESXi 6-1. I should be able to navigate to that advanced and then accept the risk and continue. Then we'll be brought to the UI user interface. We'll give a couple seconds and then we will log in as root and then the password. And we're going to save, the con save that username and password combination and then we will be able to log in and do what we need to through the UI. So the cool thing is we did an in-place upgrade from 6.0 to 6.5. We're gonna not join the customer experience improvement program. And all the stuff that we had configured is still there, which is what we wanna have. So we're in really good shape there. So that's pretty much it for the upgrade. There's a few other ways we can do it. For example, let me get some of the rid of some of this extreme white that I've got going on here. That's a little better. So there's a few other ways you can do an upgrade. You can do it through the CLI and download things that way. Um, you can also do it through vSphere Update Manager, which we'll be taking a look at when we get into vCenter. And there's like undetended with uh, installations with like answer files and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm going to get to that level of it. Um, I've always struggled with that specific feature, but this it, this install upgrade was actually a, or upgrade path was actually pretty easy to do. So um, that's where we are at. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.